Alrighty then. Well, I've got myself stuck. I'm by myself. Let me just tell you a little bit more about this situation. Let's get into it. Alrighty, so I'm stuck here by myself. I definitely don't have any recovery gear. That bag there is not full of recovery gear. These are definitely not max tracks. And I even forgot my long handled shovel. Dang it, that thing would have been so handy. And just one more thing. And this right here is definitely not a winch. So how am I gonna get myself out? Well, straight away, any experienced four-wheel drivers watching this video would just be like, let your tires down. Well, I could try that and it might work, but I've pretty much chassis bogged myself on at least the two corners, as in the axle's touching here and I'm on my bash plates over that side. So if I tried that, chances are, I'll probably just get myself more stuck. So I'm gonna show you guys how to virtually dig yourself out of this situation because that's the only way you can do it. If you've got a high lift jack with you or any recovery gear, that'd be awesome. Like a uh, exhaust jack would be perfect right now. Whack it on the car, lift it up. But remember in this situation, we've got no recovery gear because some dummy left it at home. So I've had a look on the beach to see what I can find to help me with this. And I've found this stick, which is gonna be my long handled shovel in this video. So let's get stuck into it. Pretty much what we wanna do is just work our way around the car and clear any sand from under the chassis, under the axles, under the bash plates so that the car is once again sitting on its own wheels. So let's do it. So what I'm going to need to do is really get under that back axle because I'm pretty much sitting on it back there. So I've virtually got to dig myself a little trench so that I can even get close to the axle. So there might be other stuff in your car that you can actually use to help yourself get out of this situation. Anything that can help you dig, for instance, a fry pan, a bucket, just think outside the box, think what do I have that could work. And even if it damages it, if you means you can get out of here, you're winning, eh? Because someone might come past here in a couple of hours, could be a couple of days. So you don't want to just sit here spinning your tires, waiting for someone to come and help you. G'day, do you need a hand? Nah, all good. I'm just waiting for a mate. Thanks. Now, nobody said this was gonna be easy. But you gotta remember, if you're in this situation, it's only your own fault. <laughs> Remember guys, you're in the sun, you're in the hot. It's very important that you stay hydrated. <sighs> Alrighty, well I've pretty much got this side done. Alright, so over the other side of the car, pretty much just repeat the exact same process. Dig away all the sand from under the axle. So because when I got stuck, all the drive went to the other wheel, this one's actually not bogged too bad, so I'm pretty much done over this side. Alrighty, so just the front of the car to go. So under there, you can see it's bottomed out on the bash plates a bit further under. So what I'm gonna do at the front here is just try and get it away from these suspension arms, and then I'll probably go around the side and try and reach in and get under there. And just one little thing, you may be tempted to try getting out sooner rather than later, but you're generally better off doing it later because if you dig yourself out a little bit and then try and go, if you start spinning wheels, you're just gonna dig yourself further in, which you really don't wanna do. So you're best off just holding off until the very end when you know the com car's completely suspended just on its wheels, not on the sand, anywhere under the car. So it's really hard to resist that urge because you just wanna get out but you're better off just digging until you know you're gonna get out. All right, that's pretty much all I can reach from the front here, so down the side I go. So 
So just another thing, while you're digging, what you also want to be doing is at some point you got to figure out which way you want to go. So you can either go forward or backward. If you're on a hill, chances are you want to go down the hill, whichever way that is. So in my case, I know there's hard tracks behind me because that's the way I drove in. So I'm going to aim to go backwards. So what I've done with the back wheel is left a bit of a ramp so that the tyre can just crawl out. And what you want to do down the side of the car as well is just have a bit of a channel for the tyre to go out. So this is the last side of the car now. And this takes me back to preschool. All right, so now when you look under the car, you can see daylight on the other side. The whole way under the car, that's exactly what you want to see. That means the car's on its wheels, which is exactly what we want. So at this point, it's a good time to drop your tyre pressures because now when the car goes down because you're dropping the tyres, it's not going to bottom out all over again. So you either want to use your tyre deflator or just a gauge. But hey, in this experiment, we said no recovery gear. So I'm kind of cheating here because I'm going to use my tyre deflator. But if you are desperate, you can use pretty much anything, like a stick, your keys, whatever, just to deflate them. The only thing is, how much do you deflate them? Well, the best thing to do, if you've got nothing, you're probably gonna need at least a minute 30, if not two minutes, of just holding the valve open to let the tire down to probably around 20 PSI. So grab your phone out and start timing and do all the tires for the same amount of time. So, it's really hard to kind of gauge how far down you should go and it also depends on your tire size as to how long you should really hold the valve open but just guess, do the best you can. <laughs> so what am I doing? Well I'm going to drop my tires down to let's go for 12 psi. I actually usually run 12 psi on the beach, I just find it's a really good all round pressure. Uh, just one more thing. so. That's a minute and a half to two minutes if your tyre is at highway pressure. So if you've already dropped it, you definitely won't need to go that far. Alrighty guys, let's try and get out of this sticky situation. So for starters, you obviously want to be in low range because you just want as much torque as you can get pretty much. So what you might want to do is actually just try rocking the car backwards and forwards just a little bit and just see if that works. Alright, so the first attempt didn't, didn't go too well. Um, I obviously hadn't taken enough sand from in front and behind the tyres. But it just really illustrates, if anything, how you can't rush recoveries like this. Because if I just planted my foot, I would have just dug myself into an even deeper hole. So, let's try again, see how we go. Low range, a bit of left foot braking, see if I can trick the LSD and let's see if we can get out of this. Alright. I'm out, I reckon. So I've managed to go in reverse. Now I'm just gonna go forward just to harden the ground a little bit more. Yeah, I'm out for sure. So I'm just gonna harden the ground a couple of times. This may seem silly, but it means when I go for it, I can just give it the berries and just try and get out. All right, here we go, last time. All right, let's get out of here. Woo! <laughs> awesome. Let's just get stuck all over again, eh? All righty, guys, I got myself out. But what can we really learn from this video? Well, for starters, your basic four-wheel driving. Let down your tires. Your car's gonna go so much further. What tire pressure? Depends on your car, depends on your tires. Personally, I run 12 PSI on the beach, no dramas at all. Second thing, driving technique. If you start getting bogged, if you start losing momentum, just stop. Don't plant it, because you're only going to go one way, and that's not forward, it's down. So you don't want that. And the thing is, at that point, if you get out of your car and move a little bit of sand away from your tyres, let your tyres down a bit more, chances are you'll drive straight out of that situation. Another thing, recovery gear. 
snatch strap, a couple of shackles, make sure you got recovery points, a shovel. How good would a shovel have been in today's recovery? Would have made life so much easier. <laughs> but there you go. If you get stuck on the beach and you got nothing to get yourself out with, no max tracks or anything like that, and there's no one as far as the eye can see, just keep digging until you can see daylight on the other side of your car and then just drop your tires and you should be able to hopefully crawl yourself out of the situation. So there you go guys, hopefully you learned something today. Get out there and enjoy this beautiful coastline we got and I'll catch you in another video. See ya. This was actually such a good beach to do this video on because even on 12 PSI, it is ridiculously soft, hey? Crazy stuff.